Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. Uh, today I want to talk about FDA's approval of a new aggressive drug treatment called Lemtrada. Um, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration administration. The FDA originally rejected the, dis the drug despite uh, dramatic improvements in study subjects. Lemtrada is generally reserved for patients who have not responded well to other treatments. A study of nearly 1,400 patients with progressive forms of MS showed that those taking Lemtrada had 50% fewer new attacks than those taken the current medications out there, like Avonex and Rebif and stuff like that. Um, the new brain lesion also was significantly reduced. The drug has been approved in more than 40 countries, including, including Canada, Australia, and European nations. Um, let me see. The drug includes a warning about risk of serious, sometimes fatal reactions, which includes the increased risk of cancer, including thyroid cancer and melanoma. Uh, Lemtrada will be distributed through a restricted program to ensure that it is given only by certified healthcare facilities and that patients are followed closely. Um, now the example of the quality of life that is improving. Here's a guy named Harold Johnson, he's 44, and they, they followed him. He was aware of the risk when he entered the study program six years ago and participated in, uh, in that. The drug was given to him intravenously once a year over five days for the first year and three days the next year. Uh, and he says it changed his life. The medication he was uh, using was probably um, Copaxone. Is that right? Yeah. Because it, he was injecting it three times a week and it made him feel like a zombie, he says. His vision got worse and he choked when he would eat or drink and he would shake and sometimes need a cane or a walker. His brain scan showed dozens of active lesions. Then he started using the Lemtrada and today his all of his lesions in his brain are inactive. Uh, uh, Johnson, Harold Johnson can now ride his bike, play in the park with his dog, build robots in his basement, work full time as a computer technician at Southwestern Illinois College. He even got married. Uh, I never, he says, I never thought I would see something this effective in his lifetime. Uh, this article was written in the St. Louis Today newspaper. I'm going to quote the source of that, and, um, and I hope uh, you will subscribe to me and uh, hear more stuff that I find, uh, I research. Um, thank you all so much for watching, uh, and God bless you. Have a great day.